Hello. In this video, we're going to uh, open and learn how to work with the sample LiDAR map that was published on the Manifold Viewer download page. Manifold Viewer is the read-only version of Radiant Studio, so of course Radiant Studio will do everything that we see in this video. It's just that by using Viewer, we can uh, do a video which uh, anybody can try at home for free. Uh, this will be a quick video. Uh, let's see. File, open, and we download the Manifold LiDAR, uh, excuse me, the Maryland LiDAR map. There it is. It's only about a uh, one megabyte, and we click it open. And as you can see, Radian map format is not only fast, it's also very efficient. We've stored a lot of information here as purely links. And uh, what LiDAR is, it's a uh, very high resolution uh, data acquisition system using lasers. Uh, and uh, I just clicked open that LiDAR data source, and we're getting, what we're doing is we're getting data from uh, the state of Maryland server, and we're actually uh, sitting in Europe right now, so this data is coming in from far overseas. We've created this map in Radian and saved it, but we can open it in Viewer. And when we click open one of the images, like this, image one, it'll pull in the tiles from Maryland. There you go, it's pulled it in. And we can zoom in and see the LiDAR data that's been uh, colored. We've colored it uh, using style in our Radian. And we can see the incredible detail of uh, the train elevation data provided by the server. On the fly, Radian, and of course Manifold, uh, manifold Viewer, is uh, creating this synthetic terrain, hill shading it, and also coloring it according to the palette that we've uh, assigned. This image here that we've created uh, is uh, based on the actual LiDAR data source. What we can do in uh, both Radian and Manifold Viewer is we can create additional images that are copies, uh, that are different visualizations of data that's coming in from the server. So we've cr created one called Image 1, we can also create another one called Image 2, which we've done which simply applies a different palette, a different coloring to the same terrain elevation data. Let's zoom into approximately the same area. So you can see here there's image 2 and there's image 1. It's exactly the same data, just uh, visualized differently, slightly differently, di different coloring. Okay, uh, to understand what's going on here, by the way, if you've never worked with Viewer before, we can also click open this README component, which tells you where all these different things came from, the URL that was used for the uh, WMS web server that's operated by the state of Maryland. Uh, this LiDAR data shows Charles County in Maryland. Now the state of Maryland unfortunately has a habit of changing some of these URLs. So if this uh, particular URL that was uh, that's used to get access to the server changes, we're going to have to change that. We're going to have to uh, put in a new data source here. And I'll show you how we created that data source in a moment. But let's first off, let's take a look at what else is going on here. Let's double click the map open. And this map is a component that we've previously com created in Radian. And what we did is we dragged, in, dragged and dropped a couple of different uh, uh, layers into it. There's the image one layer, and there's the Bing Street Maps layer. On the scale of the entire world, the state of Maryland, which is in this little square right here, is uh, too small to really see. But if we zoom in, we can see where this image one data set, here's the image one layer. I'll double click to turn it off, and I'll double click to turn it back on. And you can see where Charles County is located in Maryland. Uh, we created this map uh, because it's convenient to see where data sets like, the, uh, like that LiDAR data set are located. And if we didn't have a, a reference map, well, you wouldn't know exactly where the heck this is in the world. It'd be much harder to, to find. So double-clicking Bing back on. We can see exactly where that exists in context. Uh, when working with uh, servers that are georeferenced, that is, they provide the data in some sort of geograph true geographic context, both Radian and, Ma and Manifold Viewer will, of course, bring that data in so that it is perfectly aligned. There are a variety of ways of working with uh, imagery like this when we see it. I mean, we can uh, style it, we can make it partially transparent, but one of the ways of seeing what's actually in there is to put an, uh, an Im a layer on top of that. And what we've done is we have this Google Street Map layer. Here's the Bing layer, and here's the Google Street Map layer, where we've uh, dragged and dropped that in. Let's turn that on by double-clicking on it. And the Google Street Map transparent layer comes in from a Google server that provides street information uh, with labels where everything except the streets and the labels is transparent. So you can lay it as, put it as a layer over top of something like this image. And uh, 
use it to uh, label the things you see in the image. Uh, where it takes some time for the image to come in, that's because tiles are being brought in from uh, the state of Maryland across the Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to turn off the Bing map image here so we don't bother pulling down any of those tiles. We'll just use this one here. As you can see, as we zoom further in, uh, more and more detail gets revealed. If we like, we can uh, toss the other image over top. Let's, see, let's, let's drag and drop image 2 into the map. The layer uh, appears above the preceding image, and there we're now taking a look at image 2. So this is a pretty typical use of uh, image servers, and I just wanted to illustrate how we could uh, navigate this map, how we can use the multiple layers, what they all do, and that's the point of this demo. So thank you for watching. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.